Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Lab SPK 115 Metal Repinning Kit for Schlage Locks. Here's what it looks like. The SPK 115 is specifically for Schlage brand lock sets. I'm going to tilt the camera down now so I can show you the inside of the kit in detail. So, you open it up and you'll hear that the hasps snap very loudly. That's because the contents inside are obviously not meant to move around, even if the kit is turned upside down. This piece of packaging filler is really just meant to be thrown away, I suppose, when you're done. So with this kit, you're going to get a series of, uh, you'll get all of Schlage's 0 through 9 bottom pins, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You'll get a package of springs, and by the way, everything is up here with a description of what it is. You'll get a package, two, two different containers of springs. cylinder springs. You'll get over here some really uh, important parts that you would use in Schlage's A series and B series and ND series cylinders with springs and, and cap retaining pins. Then you're going to get all of the master pins or the top pins. You know your, your um, 30 thousandths, which I believe is a 1. Part, forgive me, it's a 2. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Those are your master pins. Then you'll get some driver pins, which would be what would be up in the top of the cylinder housing. You also get some anti-pick pins here. F-series top pin, they're called. This pin, the F-Series top pin, is a newer style pin that Schlage has been using the last few years. Also includes a plug flower, follower, and that's a nice um, addition to the kit. It's got room for storage here of tweezers or any other tools here and here, and more tools here. In the nice metal kit. Um, very durable, and once it snaps shut, you know, those pins really do not get tossed around at all. You do want to make sure that you've got it secured closed every time you move it by snapping the hasps down. One time I was left a keying job and just left the tool, the pinning kit, in the back of my vehicle and hadn't secured it closed. So I was driving down the street and hit a speed bump and I heard an unusual sound coming from the back of the vehicle like something jumping and all like a little rain of, of sound. And then I hit the next speed bump as I was going down a residential street and then turned and realized that could only be one sound. Sure enough, all my pins completely intermingled. And the kit, while this one is a small kit, it's still quite expensive. The kit I had was, of course, five times the size of this one um, with many more pins. No real way to reorganize that pin kit once it gets jumbled around. So you want to be sure to lack it down when you're done. If you have any uh, questions on the lab SPK 115 or any other lab product at all, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.